What is up guys, Product Probes Christian back at you with another knife review. Got a neat one today. This is part of the Joker series. I think we've done the purple blade or the, the purple handle with maybe the black. Yeah, I think it was a black blade, but this is the green blade. Joker, why so serious? Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, this is the Tac Force and it's got that little speedster. It's part of that speedster group right there. I mean, I guess I can see why they say that. It's got a pretty fast trigger on there. Nothing, I mean, super remarkably, I mean, super good, but I guess I can see where they get the name Speedster. We've done some knives, they've been a little bit better than this. I don't know why they call them Speedster, but I'll give you guys a close up on this thing real quick. Pretty nice, I mean, just an overall good looking knife, anodized, looks like aluminum. Green stainless steel blade. I should get you guys that real quick. I don't know if you can see that. Why so serious right there, Joker. Pretty cool. Just a super nice look to it, guys. All right, let's kind of dive in to see some of the features we got on here. Pretty simple knife. Got your trigger, like I'm saying. And one thing I don't like about these triggers on the Jokers is, I don't know if you, hey, I'll show you up here. Let that zero in. There's kind of a little arrow right here, and that arrow is kind of blocking off that trigger. So if the trigger was just a little bit longer, it'd make it a little bit easier. I'll show you guys that one more time right there i don't know if you can see what i'm saying but there's kind of a little hump groove hump right there kind of blocks off the trigger for the finger not too difficult to open uh got your liner lock i'll also show that to you right here and then if you can see it right there push that in close your knife up let's see if we can all do it all with one hand so it opens good trigger or the lock is a little bit stiff but i'm sure once you work it in a couple times it'll loosen right on up Next, we've got our belt clip. Show you that right here. And I can already tell on these jokers, one thing I do not like about the design on the belt clip is super, super far down on the knife. So there's gonna be that much sticking out of the pocket right there, but we'll get into that in just a minute. One thing I do like about it is that little groove right there kind of helps secure it into the pocket, which is really nice. And last but not least, you got a little lanyard hole right here. Show you guys that up close right there. If you wanted to put it on a keychain, I guess you could. Maybe put it on a lanyard to hang around your neck. I mean, not super practical since it has a, what's it called? It's got your, your pocket clip. Speaking of the pocket clip, let's go ahead and see what we got in the pocket. All right, guys, let's go ahead and slide it in the pocket, see what we got. I can already tell you, yep, that whole bit right there is gonna be sticking out of the pocket about half an inch. I mean, not a deal breaker, but they could have placed that up a little bit higher to make it go down a little bit farther in the pocket. Let's see, concealed side to it. Kind of got a short t-shirt on so you can kind of see a little bit of that belt clip right there i don't know if you can see that right here turn this way turn that way one thing is it's a little difficult to pull out but like i was saying earlier it's because a little groove in the belt clip or pocket clip i guess you could say let's see if you have to turn it around when you are taking out so take it out the trigger is right there so that is a plus we do talk about that a lot but it is nice not to have to flip it around turn it the other way then pull the trigger Let's see what we got on the printing. A little difficult to slide in and out, but I'd rather have it to where it's nice and secured in there than slide it around. Printing. Printing is not too bad on this knife, which I like. It's a pretty sleek knife. Not thin, not super bulky, which is knife. nice. It's actually really light. I'm guessing maybe a little more than four ounces, but for this, a knife this size, it's not too bad in the pocket. I mean, just kind of going like this. I mean, you can kind of feel a little bit, but it's really not bad for the size. All right, guys. So like I said, pretty average in the pocket. We've already had a couple of these designs. One thing I forgot to go over, kind of surprised myself with it, the sharpness on these things. Right out of the package, they're usually, I guess you could say about average on the blade. See, I'm not really getting any hairs right now. Or, oh, yeah, actually, I'm get, getting a couple. So these things out of the package, I guess you could say is a little bit above normal. I don't know if you can see those. Hairs, probably not. Yeah, right there on the edge of the tip of the blade, right there. Let's go ahead and see what we got on some paper. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get the sharpness on this bad puppy. See what we got. Got product pro Ben up here. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of tearing, but it does catch, which is nice. Let's try to see what we got on the point. So not too bad on there. Not a decent point on here. Let's try. Ripping it down. Yeah, it does slide through pretty nicely, but as you can see, there is 
a little bit, of, oh, not a little bit, quite a bit of ripping, but run it through a sharpener once or twice and you'll be good to go. All right, guys, got the sharpness, got the pocket shots. Let's go ahead and get some measurements. Let's first grab our ruler and see what we got on the measurements. All right, guys, so let's see what we got totally opened up on this thing. Eight inches on the dot, pretty large knife. The length of the blade, about three and a half inches. And closed, we are looking at about four and a half inches. So pretty evenly distributed knife. Lots of blade, perfect handle grip. I really like that a lot. Can hold it real nice, feels really nice in your hands. Let's see what we got on the weight. Not an extremely heavy knife. I'd say maybe a little bit above average. Let's let that zero out. All right, one more second. Let's see what we got. Four ounces on the dot. So guys, I guess you could say it's about average, a little bit of below average. I guess you could average about 4.55 ounces. This thing is actually pretty light. You can barely feel it in the pocket. Not too bad at all. All right, guys. So pretty simple knife review, not much to the knife. I mean, all you really got on this thing, belt clip, assisted trigger, oh, a little difficult there, and lanyard hole, so pretty simple knife here. I do like the simplicity, and one thing I forgot to mention was the handle on this thing. It's got a really nice grip to it. I don't know if you can see right up here, but it's got, here, let's let focus, there you go. You got these little grooves right up there, and it's just a perfect, at least for my hand, really nice, perfect feel to it. But that's about it, guys. I'll leave the link in the description on where you can find these things. And also, if you guys have not heard about our Friday night night giveaways, we'll leave that right up here in the video section. We're giving a knife away every single Friday and all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and comment below. It can be anything, any comments will do. We're also coming up with some new series, so be sure to stay tuned for those because we're always coming up with new and exciting ideas for product probes. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.